Hey guys, welcome back to another week's episode of the Budget for Y4 Life. We just went on a camping trip and I thought, why not show you guys what the setup on my Pajero looks like, especially with any short wheelbase at four wheel drive. So today is gonna to be specifically dedicated to those that own a short wheelbase four wheel drive, just to show you what my budget camping setup looks like and basically the things that you can use to make camping easy and to have all the storage that you basically need uh, to make it a success. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so let's start with one of the most important points. So if you have a short wheel base for a drive and you ask me what is the first modification that you will do to it, I'll probably tell you to get a roof rack. All right, so as you know, a short wheel base, you're gonna be limited to space. So you wanna maximize your opportunity there. So I just went in with a universal roof rack that I bought on eBay. I do have a video about it. If you wanna watch it after this video, I'll put it in the description. But it's basically just a universal roof rack that clamps onto my factory roof rails just to maximize my storage. So mostly what I've got on there is some camping chairs, uh, my big tent, and if I want to take the gazebo, as you can see, there's still plenty of storage to whack that on there as well. So yeah, that's basically the first one that I would recommend. Get a roof rack uh, because you're gonna need it. Uh, sometimes with like say the gazebo, even the tent as well, it's not gonna fit at the back of your short wheel base. So chuck it up top and you'll have no worries at all. Awesome. Let's get into the actual car. You can basically see it's quite stacked in here, but there's still a lot of room left for additional stuff. But at the moment, it's actually fully packed. I think the only thing I left at home is my solar blanket. So that can easily just go in there as well. Um, by the way, this is for two people. So just to give you an idea about what I got here. All right, so let's start off with my rear door table. Now, as you can see, this one is from Kayon. It is excellent quality. And if you fold it down, there's quite a lot of room to put your, let's say your barbecue on if you wanna make some food. And then what I've seen people done as well in here of their Pajeros, if you take that away, there's actually some more room to fit some spices in there or maybe a first aid kit, but yeah, it's just very nice to have some extra storage there whilst cooking or, you know, do your thing. At the moment, mine is is empty because I need to go and buy some spices, all right? But yeah, that's basically what I would recommend to do in there. So with the rear door table, I highly recommend it because as again, uh, it will, you know, maximize your storage and it's easy for camping or cooking or if you just want to quickly pull over and, um, you know, cook up something. So that's uh, pretty cool. I know a lot of um, cars don't have shelves, don't have shelves, don't have rear door tables uh, off the shelf. So you can easily make one. I know just make a few sort of brackets and you can make like a sheet metal or maybe even wood table um, yourself. Keep in mind, wood's probably gonna be a bit more heavier, uh, but yeah, just whack something up and that's easy as that you have a table for yourself. All right, so first things first, uh, this is basically what my setup looks like. You might be wondering, why do I not have drawers? So that's the first one. Now, drawers is sort of not a really a budget option. I mean, they cost about $300, $400 uh, for a cheap set. And the other thing as well, they are heavy. So they're about 30 to 40 kilos, some even heavier. So to have that permanently in your four wheel drive is kind of take up, uh, you know, space first of all and you'll most likely need to get rid of your seats as well now with mine as you can see the seats are still in there so basically when i go out camping i just fold them up which is pretty good because i still have enough space uh, for everything to fit inside the car and that also means if i need to you know put passengers inside my car i can make room for them as well um, to some extent the other thing as well with the Pajeros, they got the storage down here. So once again, if you're gonna get drawers, um, it's gonna block that storage. So you'll be missing out on that sort of, you know, storage uh, where I keep my fire extinguisher and I also keep my tire repair kit in there and my first aid kit. So that's in there, I don't access it a lot, but it is nice to be able to access that storage and still leave things inside there. Righto, so I just quickly removed some items from the car. So my clothes, my table, and my mattress. So as you can see, it now looks a lot emptier. So I'm just quickly gonna run you through about what I've got in here. So this is basically my gas stove or my barbecue. 
my king's fridge this is a 45 litre by the way it just goes straight up to the back seat now for today's videos actually got a sponsor which is the off-road they sell these cargo bags now they are very good because as you can see you can stack them up they've got handles along the sides which is pretty cool but probably my most favorite part is that you've got labels on the top so you can actually mark with a pen on there about what you've got on the inside so thank you very much uh, guys for sending this out to me i used to have one big uh, king's canvas bag and um, although it's very nice to you know have everything in one bag it is a bit of a pain if you want one item like let's say for instance a lighter um, you know to grab the whole bag out or zip it open and look for everything just to get a lighter so yeah it's it's very nice just to have a quick look on the labels and see ha huh, i gotcha and then just get that one out and there you go so overall just save some time and it's uh, very cool very good addition to any short wheel base or long wheel base or whatever you got <laughs> all right so down the back i've got my lithium battery setup so it's a 100 amp i'll do a review on the battery and the box separately uh, on another day and um, yeah so i got that down the back there um, i basically use that to for my lights uh, for my fridge mainly and i've also got a 12 volt electric blanket for those winter nights and um, so that is pretty good all right, and down the side here, I've got my portable shower kit. Now, guys, if you don't have one, make sure to get it. Make it yourself. I've got a video on that separately as well. It's basically a jerry can and then a shower kit from Kickass, And that just means you can basically rinse off your barbecue to make it clean, rinse off your feet if you went to the beach, um, even take a shower, um, like a cold shower. You know at nights it can get a bit sweaty sometimes when you wake up in the morning if you're at a campground without showers it is so nice and refreshing just to quickly um, hook it up to the tray wash your armpits <laughs> whatever you want to do and just freshen yourself up so yeah that is my portable kit and then just my sleeping bag and the rest of my gear in there like um, paper towel uh, toilet paper that sort of stuff and that's basically it guys so that is my whole setup nice and easy i've basically got everything i need um except a port loo so hopefully i'll get that soon um just if you go to those campsites with our toilets then i can use that as well but as you can see there's still plenty of room for that uh, to do so overall very happy let me know what you guys reckon i should add to it um Maybe you've got some of the same gear, um, but if you want any information about this sort of gear that I've got, just comment down below in the comments and I'll get to you. Also, this barbecue is from Anaconda and it's the Dune 4x4 barbecue with the glass lid. I've also made a video on that if you want to check it out on my channel. Uh, it's, it's awesome. It just makes the food, uh, you know, be done quicker and um, overall just very good saving on gas as well because it eats up quicker than open lids uh, so yeah happy chappy <laughs> The other cool thing about these bags guys is that they come with dividers so if you want to divide your stuff up with in the bag you can do that as well i just keep mine nice and open everything is just chucked in there comes with a firm base as well which hardens it up and, but you can obviously take that out as well just to fold it up into a very small piece of canvas bag which is nice and then your pockets up the top so if you want to put something in there um come to velcro so you just stick it on there uh, it's very cool eh? Uh, i definitely like these bags there's a lot of options even your spice like if you want to put your spice in here you can just put it in here uh, or very small items that you don't want to get lost with inside the bag and then the actual zips as well is also very nice high quality and um, so that's not going to break and the handles of course as well just makes it easy to slide it out of your car with that one to carry it like a bag or to carry it with two hands whichever way you like so yeah very versatile and i absolutely love that last but not least guys make sure to get yourself a very small uh, toolkit as well just to have the general sockets and just a screwdriver etc 
just in case something goes wrong on the road you're able to fix up yourself instead of calling RACQ to come and rescue you and the other thing uh, make sure you've got a fire pit I just got a small Kings one it's nice and uh, thin as well so it doesn't take a lot, a lot of room uh, so yeah make sure to grab yourself one because it's always nice to have a fire at your camp spot because what is camping without a fire right so that's that's also a, a plus awesome guys so that is my quick rundown on my camping setup for any short for base for drives and i reckon um, you guys would benefit from that as you can see i've got most of all of the gear uh, and little idea so uh, so you guys definitely get out there make sure you can um, enjoy yourself as well and not spend a fortune on your car as you can see this is a budget built camping setup and um, you don't need all the dollars in the world to make a good setup for yourself and to get out of there as you can see it's easy it's practical and what more do you want also if you are wondering where we are we are at Kenilworth uh, which is north of Brisbane a few hours north of Brisbane and um, it's an absolute beautiful place and um, yeah make sure to get out there guys and enjoy life and uh, make sure to enjoy camping all right guys well that's it from me and um, make sure to like and subscribe all right see ya bye um, some cars you know off the shelf sort of doors are uh, uh,